Hello and welcome to an episode of Advanced GIS. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at GIS workflows and how to use Python programming and model builder to create reproducible workflows in ArcGIS Pro. So I've started a new ArcGIS Pro project. And the first step I'm going to do is come over to my folders in the catalog and add a folder connection to my workspace folder. The workspace folder gives me access to where I keep data. Notice that the simple file and folder names have no spaces or special characters. In this example, I'm going to be using this Napa DEM dataset. If I check the properties of the layer when it's added, I can see that it is read in as a raster data set with 1,103 columns, 1,397 rows, and one band. The cell size is 10 by 10. And based on the spatial reference, I can see that it's projected in North American datum 1927 UTM zone 10N, and that the linear unit is in meters. So this is a 10 meter by 10 meter raster data set. So a good first step would be to convert this raster data set from a projected coordinate system to its appropriate GCS. If we open up the geoprocessing tools, we'll find that project raster requests an input raster data set, an output data set, and an output coordinate system. In this case, the output coordinate system should be North American datum 1927. Resampling technique is by default nearest neighbor, and I'm going to change it to bilinear interpolation. I'll leave the rest of the points default, and you can click run. But let's see how we can do this using Python. In the analysis, ribbon, you'll see the Python option under geoprocessing with a drop down arrow and select Python window to open the interpreter. In the interpreter, we want to import ArcPy. This is the Python package for accessing all the geoprocessing tools in ArcGIS Pro. We then want to set up our working directory. The directory that I'm going to be working in is my workspace advanced GIS projects model builder folder. Notice the backslash in the folder definition. We have to come in and escape that by double backslashing. My input data set is actually in the data folder. And 
and my data file. I'm going to use the OS package to be able to create folder and file name paths. I see that I have now defined my input data file. I can check to make sure that it exists on my computer. And I see that it does. In order to do a projection or transformation on a data set, you have to have a spatial reference definition. The spatial reference is under arcpy.spatial reference. And you can pass it a string for a name, such as the one that's given above for the output coordinate system, which is GCS. North American 1927. And we'll see if it finds it. It doesn't like that. Perhaps we can just do NAD 1927. It finds that. NAD 1927 is the one I want. So I'm going to save this as a spatial reference object. And if I look at the name of my spatial reference object, I see that it is GCS North American 1927. Now it's just a matter of projecting the raster. First, I need to place it somewhere. So I'm going to set my output directory as my directory. And I'm going to give my output name. as Napadem Geo. My output file is now going to be Napadem Geo in my model builder folder. ArcPy has a project raster function. The project raster function asks you for an input raster. Which I have defined as DEM file. An output raster. A projection. and the interpolation method, which I want to do bilinear, which I can click the button here or type in bilinear in quotes. I'll run this process tool. Checking the output. Raster information is about the same. We do see that the cell sizes have changed. This is because they're now in units of degrees.
and we see that we have a an unprojected version of our raster data set. 